Mary Gavis! Hello there! What? What's up my insafs? Welcome to my channel! So today, I'm gonna be reacting to Gravity Falls Season 2, Episode 9, The Love God. That's an interesting title. I'm a little nervous about it, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I, I guess we'll see what this is about. I don't know if maybe this was supposed to be some kind of like Valentine's Day episode or something, I don't know. Uh, it has been a very, very long time since this show aired, so I guess we'll find out. Before we get into it though, I wanna shout out to the Christmas merch. I am recording this on December 1st, so I do have some very special limited edition Christmas designs on the merch shop. If you wanna check them out, you can click the link in the description. It'll take you to the merch shop. These are the designs. My personal favorite is the Merry Chris Merry Gamus, sorry, but I also have a hello there in a special Christmas version, and then I also have like a little pocket me that comes out of a Christmas present that says hello there. It's super cute, and uh, yeah, so if you want to check that out, link is in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Go ahead and check me out on my social media accounts. I post art and other cool stuff. If you want to see the full unedited version of this reaction, you can click the Patreon link down below. All right, guys, now I don't want to waste any more of your time, so without any further ado, let's get into it. Oh. Like a chipmunk. Oh. Garfing an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Oh, that cloud looks like a cloud. Oh. <laughs> Look at a cloud. Oh, that cloud looks like a big heart-shaped balloon. I'm sorry. No, we're just going right. Can we just appreciate Mabel's sweater here? I love it. I love it. I would wear something like that. I would buy something like that. Clearly, yes. I already love this episode. Just for her sweater alone. Just saying. Anyway. Clouds don't come in colors. That is a balloon. <laughs> oh, dude. It's oh my god, could you imagine if clouds came in colors? How amazing would that be? Ah, oh, that would be a lot of fun. It's this annual outdoor concert featuring Oregon's up and coming indie bands. Scarves and doors, Scarves wood rain on everything. Doors. Love God. You've probably seen him in that viral video. Oh. oh. I hope nobody's Oh, it's a person. Interesting. Oh, this is not at all what I thought it was going to be about. All right. Uh, uh, Ghosty sound. It's coming from that open grave. Wow, yeah, that's not scary. Weird. Gaze upon death. Gaze upon death. Poor Thompson. Gaze upon death. Okay. Interesting. Oh, he's got to dance to the bop. No. Are you fucking kidding me? This dude is so annoying. I am, I cannot stand Robbie. He is literally getting right there next to Gideon. Like, I already loathe Gideon. This motherfucker might be getting that much closer to me loathing him even more. Oh my god. Let it... Fucking go, man! Why did she leave me? Robbie? Ew. Wendy! Oh, uh. <laughs> because you're a fucking hey, idiot. What's up? We haven't seen you in like a million years. Yep. Where have you been? Yeah. You're not still mourning our breakup, are yes, you? Yes, he is. What? Clearly. No way. Mm -hmm. Robbie, we split up forever ago. Yeah. Really sweet. You throw yourself into a grave for me, but. Is it. Is that the word we were looking for to describe what he just did? Mmm. I wouldn't call it sweet. Mm, I, I, I would, I would really think about that word choice there, Wendy. Don't be sad, Wendy, and don't be uh, sad, Mabel. Please, don't, don't help him. Please, he's no. Guys, we don't encourage this behavior. We can't just ditch him here. We don't encourage this behavior, Whoa. though. Oh. Don't tell me this entire episode is gonna be just about like fucking helping Robbie and his love life because I could honestly not give the slightest of shits. No offense to any Robbie fans out there. No, I don't care. I don't care. I don't want an entire episode just to focus on fucking Robbie and his love life. No, thank you. How can I be happy if I know someone else is sad? It totally throws off my happiness chart. Oh my God. Trust me, if there's one thing I've learned this summer, it's not to get mixed up in needless romantic drama. That is all Mabel does. Okay, anyway, am I gonna end up pausing a lot for this episode? Oh. Ah, ah, oh, she's being dramatic! Quick! Ow! Ow! My face! Watch her! Do it again. Oh, man. I'm sorry you guys had to see that. You know what Robbie needs? A new girl! No, 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 no. What he needs is some therapy and some serious mature growing. Like, 
Are you kidding me? He doesn't need another girl, Mabel. He is clearly not mature enough to handle a relationship with a girl. No! That's not the solution! Never had an unhappy customer. Likes to listen melody. Watch this. Walking down some actual stairs. <laughs> Did it look cool? <laughs> Okay, I like that they're still together. That is cute. And they're showing the long distance thing. I know what that's like, man. I miss you. Well, Bobby's a hopeless case. Hopeless case, eh? Hot air balloons. Uh oh. Fixed gear bikes. Wow. Folk music. What happened to his hand? Why is his hand bandaged? That's a decision. That's an animation decision, why? Wait, Mr. Pars! <laughs> every year this festival comes by, and every year you shun what could be potential customers. This guy can make money off of these freeloading, kale-munching freak shows? Wow. Mm. Yeah, Seuss has a point. Okay, this could get intense. You think? <gasps> Howdy do! Happy day! You're Bobby's parents? Oh, well, he doesn't like to talk about us. He always says we're too cheerful for funeral directors. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm here to cheer Robbie up. Cannot have a dry cracker mouth for that. Okay. Robbie Stacy Valentino. There's a little Robbie Stacy Valentino. Cute. I love it. Oh my god. You know who would look good in a sweater like that? Mrs. Grable since it remains. Oh, absolutely. I was gonna say they're really cute, but that last part was just weird. Bobby, it's Mabel. Who? Remember me? I'm like Girl Dipper. I'm like Girl Dipper. Hey, listen, kid. Nobody in the Pines family is welcome here. Mm -hmm. In case you forgot, your stupid brother is... What did that say? Dear Wendy, please forgive me, Robbie. Listen, Robbie, I always used to see you as a creepy jerk. Yeah, he is. Like the version of rat poison. Uh, go on. <laughs> rat poison, that's the best way to describe him. <laughs> but when I saw you in the cemetery... Oh my god, all the pictures. Robbie's not a bad guy. He's just a heartbroken soul who needs love. If I say yes, will you leave my room? Literally okay. nobody. Lazy Susan, too old. Brenda, too young. Multi bear. Someone we already know? But who could possibly be superficial and gothy enough for <laughs> Of course, that's it! Not you Wendy's best America's friend. Power not Wendy's best friend, right? You're not going to Wendy's more best snacks, friend. More snacks, more snacks. Huh? Don't wait up, Tambers. Don't call me Tambers. There Tambry. it is. You me date. Bring that sweet, sweet bod, your secret admirer. Ugh. That's a creepy message to receive. I scared our steak dinner, we don't have one, I just saw that. Ugh, Robbie, you're my secret admirer. Tambry? Ugh, this is just what I get for trusting a toddler. Don't tell me this is actually gonna work out. Tamri did so much better, are you fucking kidding me? Tamri, let's be real. If I wanted to date you, I would have done it already. I'm just a little out of your league. Whoa, is that mustard? Don't want to waste that bad boy. Ew. What? How is this possible? I'm supposed to be the best matchmaker ever. <laughs> oh, God, here we go. Who's ready to fall in love tonight? Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let, let's not. Let's not do this. I think I know where this is going. Let's not do this, please. Love is real and it's in your face. Meredith. Meredith. We got a problem. That cutie right there is your soulmate, and you're living without him. Get it, girl. You know it. Get it, love. girl. <laughs> is, does he actually have like magical potions or something? Can you please, please, please tell me your secret? Well, between you and me, let's just say my name's not exactly a coincidence. Love you really are. are. You an actual love god? Call me a cherub. Call me a cherub. He's a fucking cherub. <laughs> I don't know why my voice went so high either. Of course he's a cherub. Of course he's an actual cherub. Oh god, this is okay. This is this is funny. This this is great. Boom for you. Boom. Oh, Demo. That's great. Okay. So anyway, that was rude. Anything fall in love? That might be kind of hard to kaboom match me. I don't know if I agree with this. You're forcing people to I fall in love with each other. Badger. I don't really. Kid, I, that's not consenting. How much would it cost? You might think you know what's best for people, but this stuff can have major social consequences. I mean, how, do you know what's best for people? I know it's your job, but like, it's a little contradictory to me. You're gonna just take one? You don't even know which love that is. Shh. Mind if I add a little? 
something to these fries. You can't force people to fall in love with each other. That's not cool. That's a lot. You don't seem as needy as I used to think you were. Oh, hey, you wouldn't want to maybe get out of here and, I don't know, go kiss in public? Maybe I should stare at something other than my phone for a while. Oh. But it was a forced one! Dude, you can't do that! Also, that's a sick-ass outfit, dude. You can't fucking do that! I just... I don't agree with it. We're just waiting on Tambry. <laughs> can't leave without Tambry. Oh, and she's gonna Sorry, bring Robbie. Guys, Tambry's a little busy at the moment. Let's just say she and Robbie took a trip to Smoochville. Now, Forcefully. Happy. Wait, wait. Against Robbie their will. Tambry? This can't be happening. He knew I liked <laughs> How's that? Him. How could he do this? Whoa, hold it. You like Tambry? This is so like Tambry to do this. Date my ex behind my back. I'm gonna tear her highlights out. Guys, guys, Way to go, and, uh, Mabel. So you mean to tell me we're witnessing another occasion where Mabel does what she wants against everybody's fucking better decision and will and requests, and then inadvertently, all again, ruins things for Dipper? I'm starting to see a really, really unlikable pattern here that is like really making me like Mabel less and less. And you know what's crazy? I get the most hate comments from Mabel stands. Like you guys are obsessed with Mabel and like, cool, go for it. But just because you think she's the greatest character in the world does not mean I need to think she is the greatest character in the world because I don't. I cannot stand Mabel's character. In the beginning, she was cute, but like episode after episode after episode, I'm, I'm seeing these like patterns with her character that I just don't like. I really don't like her as a character. And she's a bit selfish in my opinion. And yeah, you know, of course the argument is, oh, she's just a child. Fine, yeah, she's a child. So is Dipper. And so is half of the other castmates and stuff like that. But child or not, you know, she's a really freaking selfish child. <laughs> And so, yeah, I don't care for her as a character anymore. Like, this is really annoying. She does what she wants to do, disregards everybody else, and when everybody else tells her how they feel, what they would prefer, does it anyway, and then when shit hits the fan, she's like, ooh, I fucked up. Like, yeah. I mean, she just made two, two teenagers fall in love with each other, unwill, like, against their will. Okay, anyway. And now, again, has ruined something that Dipper was really excited for, really wanted to do. He didn't get to do it because she fucking fucked with shit. I'm gonna get hate in the comments, so you know what? Come at me. Your comments about how much you adore Mabel is not gonna make me like her that much any any different anymore or any less. It is what it is. Sorry. Not my mailbox! Uh, ow! <laughs> Maybe don't do that. What did you just do? I've let these guys pick on me for years to keep this group together. Oh. they totally falling apart. Honestly, you shouldn't be taking that though. Like, they're not good friends to you, man. I was one of the gang! Well, unless you can break up Robbie and Tambry immediately- Sorry, no uh, Dipper, your sister no ruined it for you again. Neither do you! What did I tell you about staying out of Robbie's personal life? Yep. I know, I know! I just wanted to be a good matchmaker! But I just wanted to do what I wanted anyway! Ah, that's annoying! If you did a spell, then can't you, like, undo it? <gasps> that's it! By the way, that's not saying that Dipper hasn't done that, because he has done that in the past, but it's been an episode here or there. This is a pattern with Mabel. I'm just saying, this is way more times than Dipper has done something like this. But I'm gonna need your help. Also, you are not pulling off that V-neck. I know. Turn it! Aw, I thought it looked nice, buddy. Are you sure that that open flame should be that close to that dangling cloth and rope? I'm sure about everything. Now, Luba, yeah, you sure about that? Some kerosene. More kerosene! You gotta come to the concert. This is poor guy. Yeah, and have to look at that? No thanks. Oh. Oh, they're doing that couple hug walk. <laughs> Guys, you're in public. People can see you. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Make some miracles happen. Groupies, bad head me. <laughs> what was he doing with them? Why were they all in the van? Okay. I'm not gonna ask questions. That was our chance. And his belt was off. Listen, I don't I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know. Oh. Anti-love to reverse the effects of love potion. Simply spray on your victim uh -oh. and watch their heart die. On the inside. Watch their heart die on the inside. Maybe not that either. But I made a mistake and I have to fix it. Kid, I tried to tell you this stuff is way too dangerous. On my oath as a god, I cannot let you. Oh, hey, where'd you just go? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's for the good of my friends. Get those kids. Oh, we <laughs> must you to move. Must you to move. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> Everyone's touching everything! Oh. Everyone's touching everything. 
Dang it, boy, tiny wings. Get up there. Oh. oh I haven't had to use these in a long time. Oh, they're so little. Hippie tea. What's in that hippie tea, huh? What's in that hippie tea? Sorry, kids, but you've left me no choice. Visions of heartbreak pass! We're back, Mabel. We like you now. You really think we'd fall for that? <laughs> sure you can all marry me. Dang it, Mabel! It's not real! Just give us the bottle, Mabel. These idiots. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I heart kids. All right. Letter rip! Oh, oh no! A letter rip! What a letter rip! What the H? See, now that was funny. I eat kids. I eat kids. That's a really scary looking freaking balloon, dude. Mommy, is the floating head going to eat us? Yes, Charlie! Yeah. Yes, he will! Don't give him the. Of gotcha. course. Only a greater being from the heavens themselves could possibly stop. Like that? It's coming down! Wow. Okay. It's him! The horrible old man from the sky! <laughs> ah! Wow. You know what? Being loved by the youth is overrated. Being feared, now that's priceless. What happened to your hand? Uh, dude! I am so over this! Love God to the stage! Love God to the stage! Uh oh, are you gonna quit your music I career? I can't take it, okay? Spray everyone for all I care! Cause I'm sick of it! Medic! Okay, Mabel, now's our chance. They break up and the whole friend group gets back together. Oh my god, Mabel. Fucking do Mabel. it. Mabel! Mabel, I just want- Oh my god! Are you kidding me?! It's when you broke up with me that I thought my life was over. I'm happy? Weird, huh? Robbie, people are commenting on our pictures. It was forced. That is not Maybe normal. Maybe shouldn't do this. Maybe you shouldn't have fucking forced him to- Oh! Okay, listen, the morals in this fucking episode are through the roof. I'm getting frustrated. Kind of perfect for each other in a gross kind of way. But what about our friend group? Well... Maybe it'll sort itself out. Oh my I mean, there's gotta be something that could bring everyone. Oh my god. You're kidding me, right? They're gonna. Oh my god. They're gonna keep them together because undoing it is just not right. How about. <sighs> Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna. It's just a cartoon. It's a cartoon for kids. It's fine. I'm not taking this as seriously as I as I am. I'm gonna let it go. My cake. Poor guy. Hey, food from the outside. Food from the outside. Oh, <laughs> poor guy. Oh man. Yeah. Fight the machine, Thompson. Throw snacks at him. Use jerky as a weapon, Thompson. 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 Okay. Maybe someone up there really is a genius matchmaker. Mm. All according to plan. Oh, like him. Wow. Waddles and Gumpers. <laughs> this song is literally about them, too. Wow. Okay. Anyway, that was an interesting episode. Not my favorite, but you know, it is what it is. I want to know more about like the the freaking mystery going on. Like I'm missing that. I really am. Like, what happened to Bill Cipher? Where's all the mystery about the journal author? All that stuff. Like, give me the answers. Get more into that. That's more interesting to me. I'm a huge fan of like mystery solving and stuff in shows, so I would like to get back to that, and I hope we do soon. Cue all the hate comments you know for disagreeing with me from really diehard gravity falls and mabel stands bring it on anyway for those of you who did enjoy it though thank you so much for watching and supporting don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos go ahead and check me on my social media accounts i post art and other cool stuff if you want to see the full unedited version of this reaction you can click the patreon link down below i thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll see you next time bye